everybody, and welcome to the Hollywood Harry Show. I am, of course, your host, Hollywood Harry. Hey, this week we are at the Wilson County Fair in Lebanon, Tennessee, and you're going to love some of this stuff. I guarantee it. Stay right there. We'll be right back after this short pause for the cause. The City Cafe East is the best kept lunch secret in Nashville. If you're starving and want real home cooked food, this is the place. Folks, this is the best meat and three in Nashville. Chef George prepares mouth watering specials every day. Choose from baked chicken, pork chops, turkey and dressing, and of course, the best roast beef anywhere. The City Cafe East, the best meat and three in town, is open Monday through Friday, 10 to 2.30 for your convenience. City Cafe East, 1455 Levin and Pike at Spence Lane. The way cooking should be. Are you having a hard time seeing, climbing stairs, keeping up with your children or grandchildren? How's your memory? Are you eating right? Do your supplements work? How do you know? Our biophotonic scanner will show you your antioxidant levels. Call today for a scan. Mention this ad and it's free. No obligation. 615-598-4675. Okay, everybody, we are at the Wilson County Fair, back here on the grueling campaign trail. Uh, first of all, let's, uh, let's ask some of the voters some questions, and your name is? Uh, Corey, Corey Carlton. Corey, um, a lot of issues facing me as the future president of the United States. I just want to ask you a few questions, all right? Sure. Uh, how do you feel about a free house, to, a brand new house to all the homeless? Uh, if you can afford that, that's, that's a lot of houses. Stimulus, we got the money. Build me one. Okay. Yeah. You homeless? I'm in college. Okay. Same thing. Okay. How do you feel about uh, free alcohol delivery to curb drunk driving? Uh, send that to my mom's house. You're in. You like it? The what? You like it? Yeah, I'd vote for that. Okay. All right. Now here's one you probably haven't had to experience yet because you're a little younger. But free safe houses for all men whose wives or girlfriends are going through menopause. <laughs> Safe houses, you know what I mean? Places to get away and hide. Safe places. Can I live there all the time, please? All the time for it? Good, yeah. I'll They're nuts, let's yeah. face it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to ask you the last question. Okay. Who are you going to vote for? Barack Obama, Nitwit Mitt, Hollywood Harry, or that newcomer, Roseanne Barr? I think, I think I'll vote for Hollywood Harry. And a sucker for you. Man, this campaigning is killing me, I'll tell you right now. Hey, we're with uh, another uh, interested voter, and your name is? Jason. Jason, I want to ask you a few questions. Uh, how do you feel about a free house to all the homeless people? I say one to all the veterans and build water bridges for the rest. Not the homeless? <laughs> the homeless vet, but water bridges for the Homeless vet. Seems to be a lot of them, doesn't it? Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. I'm gonna, another one of my campaign issues is free safe houses to all men whose wives or girlfriends are going through menopause. I agree with that, as long as you uh, can't run off and be <laughs> Okay, so you like that idea? I love it. Okay. How do you feel about free home alcohol delivery to curb drunk driving? I like it. Are you in? I'm in. Okay, last question. Who are you going to vote for? Barack Obama, Nitwit Mitt, Hollywood Harry, or Roseanne Barr? I say Mr. Hollywood Harry. And a sucker for you, too. Awesome. That'll be fifteen fifty for the pizza. You got any gold? These days, seems like everybody is trying to buy your gold. Hey, lady, I'll give you 20 bucks for those earrings. But not everyone will pay you top dollar. At Lebanon Jewelry and Coin Exchange, 612 South Carberland, we're always buying gold 2975 South Rutherford Boulevard in Murfreesboro. We have been buying jewelry, coins, sterling silver, even broken jewelry for over 20 years. We will weigh your items right in front of you and pay you top dollar in cash. So bring your gold to one of these two locations. Why take your chances anywhere else? <laughs> In my city, mad friend, wishing I retired. Cause it's the movement. I told y'all, Jonesy, Jesse. Okay, and your first name is? Tanya. Tanya, I want to ask you a few questions. How do you feel about a free house, a brand new house to the homeless? I'm okay.
okay with that. You like that idea? Sure. Okay. Um, ho free home alcohol delivery to curb drunk driving. Absolutely. <laughs> Would they bring booze to your house? Hard alcohol. <laughs> okay. Now, here's a big issue. You might be a little offended by this one, but I got to ask you because it is a big campaign issue of mine. Free safe houses for men whose wives or girlfriends are going through menopause. Well, I'll say to that one, the men can stay at home and I'll go on vacation. Oh, so they're just as nuts as the women are. Absolutely. Oh, last question. Who are you going to vote for? Barack Obama, Nitwit Mitt, Hollywood Harry, or Roseanne Barr? Of course, Hollywood Harry. All right, and a sucker for you. Okay, we're still at the Wilson County Fair here. It's about 250 degrees here. It's hot. Uh, what is your first name? Brenda. Brenda, I want to ask you a few questions. As you know, I'm running for President of the United States. Uh, yes, I've heard about that. Uh, how do you feel about a free house, brand new house to all the homeless? I think it's a great idea. Okay. How about free home alcohol delivery to curb drunk driving? I think that's a good idea. Okay, now here's the real controversial issue. Free safe houses in every city, town, and village for men whose wives or girlfriends are going through menopause. What about the women in free safe house? If you think the women? Yes, yeah, I tell men drive us crazy too. We drive you crazy? Yes, I mean, yeah. Don't you think you drive us crazy? No, the other way around. Okay. Last question. Who are you going to vote for? Barack Obama, Nitwit Mitt, Hollywood Harry, or Roseanne Barr? How Hollywood Harry. And a sucker for you, too. All right. Thank you. Thank babe. you. You have a good night. A good day. <laughs> That's your wife there, Daddy. <laughs> Calling us nuts. Yep. So both women said the same thing. Okay, everybody, we're with the Silver Cowboy, John Casey. John, if you've ever been to the streets of Nashville, you have to have seen you because you've been a staple there for how long? A little over 10 years. Hey, we'll be right back after this short pause for the cause. Say you were a mime? Sorta. Sorta? Okay. Uh, I've seen you many times over the years and finally got to meet you here. Uh, you're actually a nice guy, contrary to by looking at you. Like that, you know? <laughs> How did you get started doing this? I went down to New Orleans and got drunk and saw a guy doing this. Really? Yeah. So you picked the act up down there? Yeah, sure. Everybody does it. What's the strangest stuff that you've occurred out on the streets? I went that one woman shit her pants. <laughs> really? <laughs> so bad. Do you love getting a reaction out of people? Oh, yeah, that's fun. Okay, and you've been doing this now how long? A little over 10 years. 10 years, you do all right at it? Yeah, it's fun. It's a hobby. You were telling me that you have an upcoming special uh, with Tom Arnold. Tell me a little about that. Yeah, it's coming out next month. On uh, It's called Redneck Rehab. It's on CMT on 730 on Tuesday nights. Redneck Rehab. What is that? Uh, rednecks going into rehab? Uh, it's this girl that comes down from New York and you know tries to do the redneck ways down here in Nashville. I guess we're going to see what happens. But, John, I want to ask you some serious questions about my uh, candidacy for president. How do you feel about a free house, brand new house to all the homeless? Well, that'd be great for them. Okay. Free home alcohol delivery to curb drunk driving. That's great. Now, here's a big one. Free safe houses for all men in every city, town, and village for wives and girlfriends that are going through menopause. No, they're not. They're okay. nuts, right? Oh, yeah, they're crazy. Last question, who are you going to vote for? Nitwit Mitt, Hollywood Harry, Barack Obama, or Roseanne Barr? None of them. None of them? They all suck. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Jim Duckworth here. And if you want to catch fish like these, then check out my DVDs at jimduckworth.com. And remember, all of them are filmed on public lakes right here in Middle Tennessee. Are you having a hard time seeing, climbing stairs, keeping up with your children or grandchildren? How's your memory? Are you eating right? Do your supplements work? How do you know? Our biophotonic scanner will show you your antioxidant levels. Call today for a scan. Mention this ad and it's free, no obligation. 615-598-4675. Everything of Gusset jeans and shirts are made in and by U.S. citizens. The Gusset is what makes them so comfortable and durable. From men's and women's boot cut to biker jeans with Calvillar. Keep America alive. Go to www.gusset.com to see for yourself. Okay, we're back here at the Wilson County Fair and we're with Doodles the Clown. How'd you come up with Doodles? 
Well, it's a long story. You know, it started about, um, oh, 42 years ago. I had a little boy born, and uh, I nicknamed him Doodles. I went to Shriners in 1979, and uh, that name sort of stuck. And here I am, Doodles the Clown, a Shrine Clown that's worked probably circuses all over the country. Um, but that's that's how I got Doodles. Do you work the Shrine Circuses? I do. Uh, I was there in 69 when the Walendas fell. Of course, I wasn't a, a Shrine Clown then. Uh, that was some 10 years later. But, was uh, it in Mexico? No, that was in Detroit, Michigan. One of the Walendas fell and died? Exactly. That was the seven-man pyramid that was always so famous. Um, in fact, I heard one of them just walked, one of the grandsons. And he was just a little boy when, when I worked with the guys. And he just walked across, you know, Niagara, uh, Niagara Falls. Falls. Yeah, so, right. yep. So you've been doing this 42 years? 42 years in, in makeup. And that's a long time. Yeah. But I, I really enjoy it. When you take a, a, a kid to, a, to one of our crippled hospitals, and, and after a number of years, you see the improvement on that child. Um, it's just the greatest feeling in the world. Nothing like bringing a smile to anybody's face. Exactly. Kids, all everybody. And it makes this job here so easy because all these kids here, most of them uh, don't have any afflictions and, and they can run and walk. And that's, you know, and that's. Now, Doodles, I was just talking to you a little bit. Of, you told me you're from Detroit and you are obviously a Tigers fan, as of myself, a lifelong Tigers fan. So, how, how did that happen, real quick? Well, I worked uh, in a bar uh, at the time as a maitre d' called Porter Street Station down by the down by the old ballpark and all the Tigers hung out there and of course uh, in 68 we won the pennant and uh, and that's how all that come about and of course I knew all the old guys and and uh, of course they're all retired now Danny Petrie great guy a lot of fun he was a pitcher and and uh, a lot of good memories right now uh, as you know I'm running for president of the United States oh, I think so that's I'd, wonderful. thank you uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions sure. okay how do you feel about a brand new house to all the homeless you know, I think it'd be great to buy them all a new home because it'd get them off the street. Thank you. I thought the same thing. I want to ask you how you feel about free home alcohol delivery to curb drunk driving. <laughs> well, I, again, I think that would be great because if you delivered the alcohol to their houses, of course, they wouldn't be out there on the road looking for it. I like you more and more, Doodles. Now, here's the controversial issue. Free safe houses for men whose wives and girlfriends are going through menopause. <laughs> You know, that's probably the best question you've asked me because some of these women, you just look out there, the looks on their faces, they're dangerous. They're nuts. You know that. I know that. And they're dangerous. This is why I've come up with free safe houses. Exactly. So, therefore, I think uh, it'd be a good idea to uh, get those men away from them. Thank you, Doodles. Now, just last question. Who are you going to vote for in the election? Barack Obama, Nitwit Mitt, Hollywood Harry, or that newcomer Roseanne Barr? Well, um, there's a guy I'm trying to talk into running. His name is David Turner. He's a ventriloquist, the best in the world, and he happens to be here. But there's the guy I'd like to see. David Turner for president? David Turner for president. Okay, doodles, thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Honest Abe had a uniqueness to him. Of, you know, there wasn't any president's name Honest Abe, you know, and Lincoln was, you know, obviously through some tough times in the Civil War and stuff, but he's got to be one of the most remembered presidents ever. Yes, he was. Aside from myself, soon to be, trust me. <laughs> I'm just Dave. I want to ask you some questions here. As you know, I'm running for president. Your day was yesteryear, okay? You've been in the big office. Didn't work out too good. Yeah. I want to ask you, uh, how do you feel about brand new house, a, a brand new house, free brand new house to all the homeless? Oh, I don't know. If I was president, I would clean house and start all over again. <laughs> you were president. You know, sorry about what happened. Is Crook Auto Parts just another auto parts? No way! We rebuild starters and alternators. Auto technicians on site, the best parts men in Wilson County. And that means big savings for you. 444-9500, 444-9500. Abe, free home alcohol delivery to curb drunk driving. Oh, I don't drink, so I wouldn't be uh, for giving more alcohol to people. Of course, they didn't have cars back when you were doing this gig either, you know? Right. Okay, now the big issue, and I'm sure they had this one back then, free safe houses to all men whose wives and girlfriends are going through menopause. Well, I think they'll need a little help to deal with it. Who, the men? The men, yeah. Do you like the idea of safe houses? Something you might have brought up to back in the 1860s? Yeah, I think so. Okay, Abe, last question. I want to know who you're going to vote for in this election. Barack Obama, Nitwit Mitt, Hollywood Harry or Roseanne Barr? 
Neither one. I would rather vote for myself. Okay, Anastade. Thanks a lot, Anastade. Anastade, uh, what's your real name? Mike Cox. Mike, uh, how did you fall into the... Hey, we'll be right back after this short pause for the cause.